I'm Matt Eckenhoff, and I'm the fourth horn player in your Colorado Symphony. This is the French horn. I know it kind of looks like a trumpet, or maybe a trombone, or a tuba, but you can tell this one is kind of round, it's all curled up here, it's got a big bell on the end, little mouthpiece, that's how you know this one is the French horn. But those other instruments that I mentioned, the trumpet, the trombone, and the tuba, we are all in the brass family. And that's because we're made out of brass. And in the brass family, we all make our sound the same way. So a lot of times when I'm talking to kids about the French horn, I ask them, say, you tell me, how do I make a sound? And they all say, blow into it. Okay. No, I didn't make a sound. Well, okay, well, maybe push the buttons. All right, I'll push the buttons. Still no sound, all right? The way that we make the sound is we buzz our lips together. That's what creates the vibration that you hear with your ears, all right? The, the strings players, they draw a bow across the string, and that's how they make a vibration. Wind players make sounds with their reeds. They have a, like a piece, pieces of wood that vibrate. That's what makes their sound. For us, we use our lips, all right? And without the French horn, the lips buzzing by themselves sounds kind of like this. It's, a, it's pretty ridiculous, and nobody would want to go hear a concert of that. Um, and we take the mouthpiece, this is the piece that goes on our mouth, and we, that focuses that buzz and it makes it sound really intense like this. Again, not a great sound. Nobody really wants to hear it. But when we put this mouthpiece into the French horn, magic happens. The horn transforms that same ugly little sound that I just played on the mouthpiece, and it just makes it sound beautiful. You saw me using my valves, but I don't even need to use the valves. I can actually do so much with just my lips and my air, all right? So I'm actually gonna show you Back in the day when Beethoven and Mozart and all those old composers, when they were writing, they were writing for this instrument. And you see, no valves, all right? They would all, in order to get all the different keys, they had a box of all these different lengths of tubing that they would put into the horn to get the different keys. Something like this one here, or, oh, I don't know, this little guy, or let's, here's a big one. Big mama, all right? So all different lengths of tubing, they all play different notes, all right? So with this one, I'll show you. It goes in the horn like that, and I can play all these different notes with it. So that's all just using my lips and the air. All right, and another question that people always have is why do horn players put their hands in the bell? All right, well, this is the answer, right? Because I'm stuck with just this length of tubing, there's only certain notes that I can play. But by using my hand, I can make the horn a little bit shorter, which helps me get different notes. It sounds different, but it helps me get those notes that are in between. So to play a scale, I have to do this. See that? It's pretty cool. So practicing is a little bit complicated. <laughs> um, I will let you in on a little secret. I don't really like practicing, but I do it.
because I really like playing. I really like performing. I like getting in front of people and expressing myself through music. But in order to do that at a really high level, like all of my colleagues in the Colorado Symphony, I have to put in the work at home. I started playing the horn back in the third grade, actually. We had an assembly at my, at my school, my elementary school, and they had all these different people come and play the instruments for us. So I just heard the horn, I wanted to play it. Actually, technically I wasn't allowed to play the horn at that point. I was only able to pick, take a string instrument. Fourth graders could play brass instruments. And, but I just apparently wouldn't take no for an answer. And um, I came home with a horn. One of my favorite things about being a musician is all of the cool places that I've gotten to go to because of the horn. I used to live in New Orleans, Louisiana, when I played with Louisiana Philharmonic. I lived there for five years. Before that, I lived in Miami uh, when I was playing with the New World Symphony for three years. Before that, I lived in Honolulu um, with the Honolulu Symphony. I would play with the New Mexico Symphony. I've played, um, just recently I was playing with the Hong Kong Philharmonic in Hong Kong, and I went on tour with them in China, and so I've gotten to do a lot of really fun things in a lot of really great places, um, all because of the horn, all because, you know, when I was younger and I decided this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do with my life, my career, and I worked very hard to do it, um, and I've, I've really gotten to do a lot of very cool things.